Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio, my name is Fabi and today we're going to talk about a few things that sometimes when we start to do yoga we are a little bit confused, we can call it a mistake or sometimes we just are a little bit confused about it. So one of them is the breath. So every time you start your class, you always start with pranayama, any type of breathing exercises to help us to have a long and a deep breath. During this deep and long breath, one of the um, most common uh, breaths that we use in the yoga classes is Ujjayi breath. And Ujjayi breath is when we engage our throat, which is our epiglottis. And it's that sensation that you want to fog a glass with the sound coming from the throat like this. And then we close the mouth and we still keep doing the sound because we keep still the contraction of the epiglottis. The idea of contract the epiglottis, it will help us to have more control in the speed of the breath, but also the amount of air in and out. So we can really control more the breath. So we can expand it more, we can contract it more. We can use it when we are doing strong poses to help us to... Um, hold the stamina and to have more concentration, but also we can have it when we are relaxing. So it will help us even before meditation, it will help us to concentrate in our breath. So it's really useful this uh, breath, which is Ujjayi breath. What are the common misunderstandings or mistakes in this breath? Ujjayi breath at the beginning, we kind of first in the draw and the sound the volume of the sound become a little bit higher because we are not used to. But the real idea of the Ujjayi breath is that as much as we practice, the sound become very smooth. And they say Ujjayi breath can be listened only by yourself. So if you are in a room with many people, the only person might to listen to your breath is the person next to you, that is very close to you. So one of the mistakes is that we exaggerate too much the sound. What is the problem with this? So for example, you have a class and you are at least 30, 40 minutes doing this. You're going to get very tired after a while. <laughs> so it will, it, it will be like an over effort. It's like a wasting energy that you might use during your, your practice. So at the beginning, when we are just starting or practice this breath, of course, we make that big sound. But as much as we are familiar, that sound has to be smooth. So I'm going to do it very strong and very smooth so you see the difference. And even it comes a little sound like a whisper because it's too strong the breath. So the sound has to be smooth and subtle. So as you can see, you don't listen too much my breath, but I am still practicing the Ujjayi breath. So it's great to have a dry breath because always going to bring us to the present moment. It'll help us for concentration, more control of the breath, but it doesn't need to be super strong. It can hurt your epiglottis. It can put you on the pressure where you throw as well, but also is unnecessary waste of energy. So the next time that you are with your practice, remember your dry breath is subtle. very smooth thank you to join us and remember that you can find us in instagram as a sacred body studio and we we'll see you in the next video